How do I look? Do I look better? Do I look different? Do I, do I look good? Do you know why I'm asking you? Cause this is the Sony a7 IV. Oh my God, you guys probably just saw my pores. Oh my gosh. Anyways, hello. Welcome back to a vlog. Sorry, I just, <laughs> I love it. I love the fact that it's a brand new camera and I have it and I love it. It's beautiful. I love it. Wow. Anyways, welcome to a vlog, uh, end of the year vlog. I wanna make this quick, short, simple, and sweet. I wanna talk, talk about a couple things and just kinda of talk about like my thought process, where my head's at, where I'm going into the new year and stuff like that too, kinda of what to expect from me in the future, that kind of stuff. But first, I really wanna talk about this, which is not me only. There we go, I keep messing it up, NMO, not me only. It's kind of like weird because of the way that it like, you know, they shipped it and stuff, but not me only. So this is actually pretty cool. This is a company that is put together with Matty Hoya and a bunch of his, uh, you know, friends and family and stuff like that. So they actually put together this clothing company and that's actually the shirt that I'm wearing right now, which I gotta say, if you guys want to take a look at it, this thing is awesome. It's great. Like it's just nice, black, straightforward. The only thing is this, is the only thing that's in there for lettering. Not me only. That's it. And it's a premium tee. I gotta say, I love it. Like, it's absolutely super comfortable. Like, I have some other premium tees and so that too from other companies. And there's a little bit more thin. It's a little bit more breathable, but this is actually really comfortable. Like, I live in New Hampshire. It's currently 37 degrees out, but this is like a good weight. Like, it's, a, it's like a thick shirt, but it's a good, thick quality shirt. It's comfortable. It's not itchy or scratchy. Like, I absolutely love it. And we talk about how this is like nice and elongated. I love it. I love it. I already got like a bunch of stuff on it. So I need lint rollers now, So, but either way, I love it. So anyways, I'll leave a link to the store down below. They do like drops and stuff like that. They actually had a hoodie and they also have a long sleeve, which I did not get my hands on. So sad about that. I don't know why I just did, you know, like a sad. <laughs> Sad about that. But anyways, really stoked to see this come to life for Maddie. He's a really awesome content creator in case you guys don't know him. In case you guys don't know him, really awesome content creator. I'll put his stuff in the description down below. But um, yeah, so I got this in, pretty excited. So nice, fresh black t-shirt to start off the new year. So pretty hyped about that. Wanted to talk about basically going to the new year. Kind of like maybe just give like my thought process what I'm gonna be focusing on the next year. And then maybe it'll help some other people. Maybe it won't. Maybe it'll just let people know where my head's at with stuff. I don't know. But for next year, my biggest thing I want to focus on is just being intentional and planning with my time. And it was kind of funny because I just had a therapy session and my therapist said, mentioned something and I'm like, oh, that makes a lot of sense actually, is um, I'll get to that in a second. Let's start with planning. So what I feel like I've done in the last year is that there's been like events I want to plan for, things I want to celebrate, or even like, you know, special streams, special content, that kind of stuff to maybe like how to, right? Like this year I did put out a how to decorate your stream Christmas video. I wanna do more of that stuff and I wanna get better at it too because I felt like it was pretty quickly thrown together-ish, kind of. I didn't present it the way that I wanted to, but you know what? Content that is finished is better than content that is not finished, but is being perfected. I don't think that's actually saying, I just made it up, but you get what I'm saying, right? Like pushing content out and actually having it done is much better than it's sitting in your draft status because you're editing it and trying to change it, and make it perfect. Yes, you need to put a level of perfection into it or effort, but you don't have to be 100% perfect. Nothing will ever be 100% perfect. So understand that, realize it, push that content out. So yeah, so I just want to be more intentional, not just with my content, but with life. And the thing that my therapist mentioned that I thought was pretty funny, really good point is that I spent a lot of time thinking about it, right? Even my friends, like, how do you remember everything you need to do in a week? And it's because I'm like, I have it on my mind. Like I have it planned out. I'm thinking about it and stuff like that. But it's like, if I just keep it in my head and I don't write it down in Notion or I don't use my pan planner or a planner or even like notes in your phone, like you don't have to overcomplicate this process. If I don't put it down somewhere and just leave it there, then I'm using so much brain power to just Think about like, all right, what I have going on? What's going on on this day? What am I doing this day? Am I forgetting anything? 
and then it's just constantly taking up space in your head that it shouldn't. Really good point that my therapist pointed out, and I feel like that's a really good point for other people too. Like you might wanna maybe think about that if you're going into the future and you wanna, you know, work on planning and stuff like that and strategizing, like actually write that stuff down. So I thought that was really powerful. I wanted to share that with you guys as well. Yeah, going into the new year, I wanna plan more and be intentional about like my content, right? Like planning for those days of whether it's, you know, my birthday and other things like that, like plan really good events, have posters like made or whatever, things to share on social media, have a video made for it already, if there's a new product coming out, like have a skit ready for it, right? That's how I got the Elgato wave panels was I basically made a skit about them and they loved it and they saw it and they shared it. And that's another good way for me to build my relationship with these companies that I wanna work with. So just making sure that I'm being intentional on purpose with that, but not just that, but like in my own life, right? Like I told myself I was gonna make a bucket list for the fall season, which I didn't. And I was gonna do things on my bucket list, which I did not. And it's like, one thing I don't wanna do is go through life and just like regret not doing something, right? Like a lot of people might not know this, or if you don't, then uh, my mother passed away in 2019. It was very abrupt and sudden. I had no idea it was coming and it just hit me like a truck, like completely blindsided me. With that, I thought to myself, I'm like, man, like every year I talk to myself, I'm like, or I think to myself, I'm like, I wanna hand out full-size candy bars at Halloween. Not because I wanna flex that I spent so much money on candy bars, but cause like, you know, Kids love it. Like when you go out and you're doing Halloween and you're trick or treating, like when you get a full size candy bar, you get pumped. And I'm like, dude, that's awesome. Like that's such a great feeling to get. Like, oh God, that's, you know, like, oh my God, they give out full size candy bars. And like literally when I did it, I literally heard even parents being like, oh, yo, he's giving out full size candy bars. It's crazy. Like whatever. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Like, they're like, oh, thank you so much. Like, and it's like, it's just a candy bar. And literally it's just a candy bar. And it's like, to me, to do that, it's not that hard, right? Like, I mean, save up a little bit extra money, like maybe not go to Dunkin' Donuts as much or whatever, and I could I could easily afford to do that, no problem. I mean, I don't wanna to get too much into like financials, but either way, point being is that it'd be really upsetting to me if I got to a point in my life and I was like, man, I've never handed out full-size candy bars. Or if I passed away and I had the ability to look back on life and be like, man, I never gave out full-size candy bars and my life is now over. It'd be something so stupid and like minute you know, like I just, I feel like going to the grave with that thought in your head is just, why, why wouldn't you take the time to do it? Why wouldn't you just be intentional? It's not that hard. Just go buy a full-size candy bar, save up some money, buy full-size candy bars, hand them out. Point of this is that I wanna be more intentional about like what I'm doing with my life outside of being a content creator. And I guess reflecting on this, I have spent a lot of time trying to create content and trying to just go full bore at it and stuff too, but I gotta find a balance of it of being able to enjoy my own life and do things, right? Like visit coffee shops, like go on photo walks and stuff like that. I gotta find a way to rope those things into my life and balance them out, right? Even if it is like creating content, I'd be like, I don't have to, but I do love making content. Like I do like vlogs and I, I'm okay with vlogs like these, but I really love vlogs where like you go out and you're doing something and you're taking photos and you're sharing the photos and doing other stuff. Like I love that kind of content. I love watching that content and I love making that content. So be more intentional about it, planning, getting my plan down on paper and make sure that I'm executing that stuff because I don't wanna continuously feel like life is just slipping me by and it's another year's gone. Now that I feel like I've already brought everyone down by like being upsetty spaghetti, <laughs> looking back on life and what you haven't done. 2022 is gonna be the year that it's things are gonna change. It's gonna be a big game changing year for me. I know it's gonna be, I hope it's gonna be for a lot of people. I know a lot of my friends are on the same track as well too. It's gonna be a massive, massive year. Like mark my words, this is gonna be a massive year. And to kind of reflect on things like, I've done so many awesome things so far. Like I've built a great community that's coming around me and there's a lot of people now that are, are you know, like I feel like the core community of it has actually grown quite a bit. I also feel like, I feel like I've accomplished a lot of stuff. Like I've, I've made the video, you know, about Elgato and got them to notice me. Even just the fact that they noticed my content, they sent me free stuff, but the fact that they got to notice my content was just amazing. Uh, we got a scholarship through Pipeline. We officially got sponsored with Control and now Advanced to close out the year, which is awesome. So I feel like I've done a lot of really awesome things. Yeah, I just like, I need to take the time to reflect on that stuff, realize what we've done this year and just realize that next year is gonna be amazing. And for it to be amazing, I just need to make sure that again, I am planning, being intentional with my time. Yeah, just not, not slipping, being poised and yes. So that is my plan. I'm gonna make sure that I am journaling, I am self-reflecting, I am planning, I'm writing that stuff out, I'm knocking that stuff off the list when it's done. That's pretty much it. 
Um, but I'm really excited about 2022 and I hope you guys are too. I know a lot of times we look back at the year and it's focusing on what we haven't done, but don't forget to focus on what you have done because living in this time right now is not easy uh, with everything going on with, you know, what we're living with since 2020 and trying to get back to some normalcy of life or create a new normal lifestyle for ourselves with everything that's going on. So give yourself a break. Make sure that you're not just focused on what you haven't done. What have you done well? How are you gonna build on top of that, right? Like, I mean, I made those videos and stuff like that that have been, I will say that my ability to create a B-roll video, to tell a story through visuals and through a voiceover has gotten drastically better since the beginning of this year. My first pipeline video that I made for the uh, scholarship through them in Corsair. You can watch that and notice a drastic difference between that and the second one. And then the third one still, the editing was just, you know, it's better. Like in the montage part, it was better. And even with the video I made for Advanced, being able to see that progress feels really good. And I want you guys to feel that same way about yourself and your own life. And again, just write down some things that you want to be intentional about. I know, like I said, I already listed what I'm going to be intentional about. I feel like I'm rambling right now. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys and say thank you guys so much for an amazing year. We've gotten really far. And again, like just to kind of like reflect back on something with YouTube, right? Like, I mean, I thought by now, I'm like, oh, I could, I'll be a YouTube partner by the end of the year. Like, well, I'm not, <laughs> at least at this point in the video, I'm not. So, um, but I mean, I looked at it and my channel used to get like no views a day or, you know, a handful of views a day. We're getting like 60 views a day, whether it's short form or long form, like that's cool. Like 60 people are stopping and watching my content daily, whether it's for five minutes a day or not, like there are 60 people that are recognizing my work. It's pretty cool. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's pretty awesome. So don't be too hard on yourself. Try and go into this new year and be excited. I want you guys to be excited. It's going to be an awesome year. And uh, yeah, I want to say thanks so much again for all the love and support. I appreciate it. You guys have helped me get to this point, whether it's through the kind messages you share with me, sharing my, you know, work with people that you know, sharing the community with people that you know, being a part of the community, chatting and stuff like that in the community. Um, I just really appreciate it. And let's make 2022 awesome. We never know how much time we have left. And I always, I always almost, I used to say this all the time. I need to say this more often in my streams, but I always thank people for spending their time on me because we never know how much time we have. We don't know when it's gonna go away and we can never make more time. Like you can't get time back. I always like to try and thank people and be appreciative of them spending their time with me because again, that's the most valuable thing you can do is spend your time with me. Whether you have one viewer, two viewers, 100 viewers, and you really want a thousand or you wanna grow or you're only getting 10 views on your videos a day and you really want thousands of views, like just think that those 10 views those five people, those one person, that one individual person who is just like you with feelings and thoughts and everything, they are spending time on you that they might never get back. They will never get back. Guaranteed, they will never get that time back and they don't know how much time they have left. Just put that in perspective when you're kind of feeling down about like, oh, I only have one person viewing me or two people viewing me or I only got like, you know, 50 views on this video or 10 views on this video instead of thousands. Like. Just think of it that way, that that person spent that time on you and your content or your community. That's pretty much it. I just wanna make a quick vlog. I got a lot to do today, but yeah, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for an amazing year. 2022 is gonna be absolutely phenomenal. I promise you, keep an eye on what's going on here because I promise you it's gonna be completely blown up out of the water next year. We are just gonna do things bigger and better and more than we've done it before. So I appreciate you guys. I'm done rambling. Now I gotta go do the rest of my day. But I appreciate you guys and love you, all right? Also too, if this doesn't look that great, like the video and stuff like that, the coloring, uh, I apologize, because again, this is the new Sony a7 IV, which I'm freaking hype about. Um, but, <laughs> I love this camera. Uh, I'm still learning how to use it, so be kind. But hey, make sure you guys give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you guys like the content, and uh, make sure you guys check me out on Twitch if you guys wanna come talk to me, or get an internet hug. If you guys don't know what an internet hug is, you should probably come find out on Twitch, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday night. All right, love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Christmas, that's, that's the occasion.